Where the hell is Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen? This is G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. Now, when I ask the question, where the hell is Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen? Now, I know I've heard interviews with him. We know that he's working in the gym with the great trainer, Virgil Hunter. We we know that. So when I ask where the hell is Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen, I'm not asking it in terms of he's been out of sight, out of mind. What I mean is when is the man going to put some gloves on? When is he going to put some boxing trunks on? When are we going to see him actually get in the ring and be in a legitimate fight? Now, he fought, I think it was in September 2017. It was an eight-round fight. He won a unanimous decision. Looks like he was just kicking the dust off. But outside of that fight, Peter Quillen's been out of the ring for a long time. For a long time. And he did a fight hype interview in February. I'll put the link in the description box. And it was a big rumor going around that they were trying to match him up with Mayweather Promotions own Jay Leon Love. And it's funny because I did a video on the channel about Jay Leon Love when really nobody was talking about him. I mean, ain't nobody talking about him now, but, you know, back then I did a video about him and I said it's time for Mayweather Promotions to find out if Jay Leon Love is the goods or not, and this is a good time to do it. So... To hear the fight hype interview and them talking about him fighting Peter Quillen, I was like, that's a good matchup. That's a good matchup for both guys because Jay Leon Love, he would have the ability to outbox Peter Quillen, and Peter Quillen has a problem with boxers. So that would give Jay Leon Love a shot in that fight, and anybody that's seen the Jay Leon Love Porky Medina fight. That's all you need to see to know that Peter Quillen got a shot in that fight. But hopefully that fight will materialize because that's that's a good fight for both guys in their stages of their career. Now, Peter Quillen, unfortunately, he's been inactive. And it's funny because in boxing, you're defined by either your losses or by a particular moment in your career. And I think with Peter Quillen... Ever since he dropped his title to not fight Matt Korobov, his career has been downhill from that point. Uh, Danny Jacobs, first round knockout loss. The Andy Lee fight was a draw, but he got knocked down in that fight. Um, You know, it, it's just been downhill for him. And I fully support Peter Quillen. I like him as a fighter. Uh, he's a little raw in terms of the mechanics. So being with Virgil Hunter is a good look for him. But, you know, he seems like a real nice guy. And it seems like he's about his wife. He's about his family and just being just a good person, period. So I'll always support Peter Quillen. But it's going to be interesting to see when they schedule a fight for him. I'm assuming he's going to be fighting at 168. 168 is is a hot division right now. It's a lot of guys in it. It's time for Peter Quillen to get back into the mix. So, Peter Quillen, if you're listening, any of his people, any of his fans listening, he need to get back into the ring, man, because there's people that want to see him in the ring fighting it at 168 pounds. Y'all let me know what y'all think of Peter Quillen. G5 Jeff TV. I'm out.